Hello and welcome to Our Current. My name is Amanda Marini Road, and welcome back to a brand new season of the show. Today I have with me uh, Susan Powell. She's the owner and operator of Powell School of Dance here in Cornwall. Um, I just want to say welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. No, no, it's my pleasure. I'm really happy that you could be here. Thank you. Um, how long have, has your, your school been, been in, um, in operate, operation? Uh, we've been here in Cornwall. This is mm -hmm. our seventh season. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very excited because um, we're having a very good uh, season. Uh, we've gotten off to a very good start. Uh, registration has been uh, very, very uh, successful, and classes are underway. We're up and running. Um, we operate out of uh, Ecole Rose des Vins uh, on 2nd Street East, and um, we have um, quite a few new classes that we've started uh, this season, uh, which we're very excited about. Um, and the reason for that is that um, Ecole Rose des Vents has gone under uh, an expansion uh, this past year. Actually, since uh, April, uh, they added a new addition to the school. And um, they also added, um, or they're in the process of constructing um, um, a multi-purpose uh, center. Mm -hmm. And that center is going to be available to us for classes. So we have classes uh, running concurrently, um, which uh, for us is a very uh, big thing because yeah. uh, we have uh, many siblings uh, that come and take class with us. And so therefore it means that um, when one sibling is in one class, the other one is, is in the other class. Uh, and um, the other location in the school and then therefore makes it a lot easier for parents uh, when they don't have to come back, mm -hmm. uh, go back and forth for the two siblings. So, um, so that's, um, that's something that we've been able to, to offer as a service to our, uh, our clientele. Well, that's great. I'm, I'm, I want to know a little bit more about you. Mm -hmm. um, I know that your school is prospering right now and that it's going to continue to grow and Cornwall continues to grow and I think it's just amazing that you and your daughters have, have really spearheaded the program and taken, taken a hold of, 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 what, of what your project has been for the past seven years. But mm -hmm. I want to know where your passion for dance started and also just what type of dance you started dabbling in whenever you did begin dancing. Mm -hmm. Well, I started that. dancing as a child. Okay. Um, my training, uh, I am classically trained. Okay. Um, I danced, uh, well, I've, I haven't stopped actually. I keep saying I'm going to hang up my shoes, but it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, I, I'm trained as, as a classical dancer and then as a teacher and choreographer. Um, I also, uh, my experience is also in ballroom dancing. Uh, when I met my uh, future husband, uh, we both had a similar passion for, for dance and for music. He has a fine arts, in, uh, fine arts degree in music. So um, we teamed up and um, we started training together and then competing together in international style ball ballroom. So, um, you know, I've, I've branched out into different areas and when our competition career um, finished when we finished uh, that aspect that was when we started uh, teaching together and um, when our daughters uh, from the time that they were children uh, they um, they trained in all the various disciplines uh, the classical ballet the Broadway tap Broadway jazz and uh, they also had a competition career so we traveled quite a bit for them when they were growing up in their growing up years and um, when they got to a certain age, we proposed the idea to them of opening a school. And they were, of course, very excited about that. And um, we decided to come to Cornwall. Uh, we don't live here. Uh, we live um, on the West Island, in, uh, outside of Montreal, in the suburbs but we commute back and forth. Uh, we wanted to come somewhere that uh, was close enough for us to be able to travel back and forth. 
Uh, my daughters are still um, training in dance. They haven't stopped training and they're also um, getting their degrees in, uh, in school. So uh, it's all related to what we're doing. Um, one of my daughters already has a bachelor uh, in education and the other two are um, getting, um, actually doing a double major in psychology and child studies. So it's all related to, to, uh, to what we're doing in our school. Well, that's just wonderful. I'm so happy for Thank you Thank you very much. And uh, I just wanted to also talk about what's coming up uh, with your school. I know you were talking earlier about some new programs that you've started. Yes. And uh, just if you could talk a little bit about the, the new programming that you're offering. Yeah. Um, um, we offer, well, we offer classes uh, for very young children, uh, three years old and up. Mm -hmm. The programs for the three-year-olds are creative movement. It's an introduction to dance, mm -hmm. so they're learning <coughs> uh, body awareness and uh, how to move through songs and rhymes that relate to, um, you know, to the arm movements and uh, and so forth. Um, they're plies and and you know, very basic though, all uh, obviously um, age appropriate. Uh, then as they move up into the, um, the higher levels, we offer a combination program, a combination program which is classical ballet and Broadway tap. So they take a one hour class and they do half an hour of each. Mm -hmm. um, we like our students to have a foundation, especially in classical ballet because it is the foundation of all dance. Exactly. And that's our message that, you know, we try to um, to educate our students and the parents of our students to to understand that that's um, you know that's imperative an imperative part of their training. Um, this year we've been able um, because we have um, more space. We've been able to offer um, a pre-jazz program for our students that are already in the combination program mm -hmm. and as a complement to that they um, they're taking the pre-jazz class so they're doing two classes back to back so two hours of dance for six and seven year olds and then that's impressive uh, yeah that's wonderful. yeah yeah it is and it is also the creative arts the uh, creative um, uh, movement class uh, you're, you're also offering that to um, children with special needs yes we're actually offering um, this year we're launching a dance therapy program and uh, it's uh, it's for children with special needs mm -hmm. um, because their training um, needs to be um, a little more concentrated for their for their needs for mm -hmm. for what um, you know for for their special needs. I think Either. that's wonderful, though. Yeah. Just you know, uh, does that kind of programming needs to be developed more in the schools as well? And I'm just hats off to you for starting that up because Thank you me. know today uh, there uh, there's definitely a demand for for different modalities in teaching children with special needs and I think there's a real value there and I'm just so impressed that you're bringing that to the table. Thank um, you. Do you have any new pr uh, projects coming up for this year? Anything, any events that you're looking forward to? Anything that you'd like to talk about? Um, well, our, our the big event that we do every year of course is our year-end recital mm -hmm. and um, we um, we always do a fundraiser uh, for the year-end recital um, Actually, the program book that um, uh, we do, uh, we sell advertising space in that program book, and that um, that the, the funds that we raise are then uh, donated to the Cornwall Community Hospital Foundation. So last year, we're, we were very excited because we were able to uh, purchase two pediatric wheelchairs, which is uh, something wow. that... Uh, that they really need because they have wheelchairs but they don't have pediatric wheelchairs so you know a child who who needs uh, that equipment mm -hmm. usually has to use um, uh, an adult size uh, wheelchair so so we were able to you know to um, That's great. yeah to yeah. provide that equipment so we're very happy about that 
Well, um, I just wanted to say thank you for coming on the show. It's my pleasure. And it's 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 just wonderful to have you here and, and also you. just to promote the Powell School of Dance. I just think you guys do some amazing dancing there. And um, maybe I'll be able to convince my husband to <laughs> join up with me and <laughs> take ballroom. some ballroom dancing <laughs> yeah, with you. Yeah, we teach ballroom too. So thank you so much for coming it's on the show. It's my pleasure, Amanda.